Lesson five from Written English to Spoken. Going to plus verb in Written English changes to gonna at a natural speed. Remember, everybody, this is only spoken English, not written English. The gonna lesson is a great lesson. Gonna is one of the three most common reduced forms. As I said, gonna is going to plus verb said at a natural speed. Now we have to be careful. The gonna pronunciation is only used for the future verb tense. So let's look at these examples. If we say, I'm going to a movie. A movie isn't a verb. Actually, going to in this sentence is the present continuous verb tense. We would never say, I'm gonna a movie. Let's look at the second example. I'm gonna go to a movie. In this example, go follows to. Remember, it's going to plus verb, going to plus go. So we use gonna when we're using the future tense with going to plus verb at a natural speed. Let's review. Many of you learned who, what, where, when, and why questions for reading, as we said last time. These questions also work very well for conversation. So let's not forget when we hear a conversation to think about who is this about? What's the subject? Where are they? When does this happen? And why does it happen? Genres. You're going to hear two vocabulary words in this conversation. These are types of movies or books, and they're called genres, types. The first one is comedy. A comedy is a funny movie or book. An example is I Love Lucy on YouTube. So you can click on that for an example of a comedy. Horror. A horror movie is a genre that scares people. An example of that would be a very classic horror movie called Frankenstein. And you can click on the URL here to see the example on YouTube. Okay, great. Let's do the first listening level. Listen. Choose the correct answer. Who are these people? And what are they talking about? So, Lisa, what are you going to do tonight? Nothing. I'm just going to stay home. Are you going to do anything tonight? My sister and I are going to a movie. Do you want to come with us? What are you going to see? The Monster That Ate Cleveland. Is that a comedy? No, it's a horror movie. The Monster Ate All of Cleveland? Wow, I don't want to miss that. How soon are you going to want to leave? We're going to want to leave in about 15 minutes. Number three is correct. They're friends, and they're talking about their plans for tonight. Listen again. Choose the best answer. What are they going to see, and when are they leaving? So, Lisa, what are you going to do tonight? Nothing. I'm just going to stay home. Are you going to do anything tonight? My sister and I are going to a movie. Do you want to come with us? What are you going to see? The Monster That Ate Cleveland. Is that a comedy? No, it's a horror movie. The Monster Ate All of Cleveland? Wow, I don't want to miss that. How soon are you going to want to leave? We're going to want to leave in about 15 minutes.
Number one is correct. Review, as we've mentioned, is very important. It's not enough just to know these listening tools. You really have to be able to understand them in real speech. So let's go over the sentence blending rules for this lesson that we're doing right now. Remember, if we want to know how a native English speaker will really say a sentence, we have two steps. Step one. Find the reduced forms. The examples, you becomes ya, want, what do you and what are you become what ya, wanna becomes wanna, etc. Step two, we apply the sentence blending rules so we can find out how will the words sound in a real sentence. So we talked about the sentence blending rule, final consonant, followed by a vowel sound. The final consonant sound will move to the vowel. So let's take some examples. Example one, with us. This is slow English. Step one, find the reduced forms. There are no reduced forms in this phrase. Step two, apply the sentence blending rules. Final consonant sound followed by a vowel sound, the consonant sound will move to the vowel in natural speed English. So with us becomes with us. They'll go with us. They're doing it with us. Example two, all of. This is slow English. So step one, find the reduced forms of changes to a uh, at a natural speed. Step two, final consonant sound followed by a vowel sound. L followed by a. Uh. The L moves to the a uh, and we get all of. All of my friends. All of the students. All right, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If you are doing these exercises, you are doing a great job. So now let's push to a higher listening level. Can you hear the words? Listen, you'll hear natural spoken English. Write the correct written English on a piece of paper. So, Lisa, what are you going to do tonight? Nothing. I'm just going to stay home. Are you going to do anything tonight? My sister and I are going to a movie. Do you want to come with us? What are you going to see? The Monster That Ate Cleveland. Is that a comedy? No, it's a horror movie. The Monster Ate All of Cleveland? Wow. I don't want to miss that. How soon are you going to want to leave? We're going to want to leave in about 15 minutes. Okay, now listen again and check your answers. So, Lisa, what are you going to do tonight? Nothing. I'm just going to stay home. Are you going to do anything tonight? My sister and I are going to a movie. Do you want to come with us? What are you going to see? The Monster That Ate Cleveland. Is that a comedy? No, it's a horror movie. The Monster Ate All of Cleveland? Wow, I don't want to miss that. How soon are you going to want to leave? We're going to want to leave in about 15 minutes. Okay, fabulous job. I always tell my students this is not easy because it's real spoken English. So I'm very happy that you have come this far. Remember, the big secret is coming in lesson eight. And this is going to make you sound more like a native speaker like that. Okay, so join me in the next lesson, which is lesson six. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody over there. Okay.